welcomes you to the following presentation of the NBA. An air of confidence to the Suns as they arrived earlier today. Playing in front of their home fans always puts a bounce in your step. That's a great look at our location tonight, the home of the Suns here in downtown Phoenix. Welcome to 2K Sports for another edition of NBA Basketball. This is Kevin Harlan along courtside with Brent Berry and Greg Anthony. We've got David Aldridge on our sideline. DA, it's all yours. Hey, Kevin, thank you. Chris Paul is still searching for his first title. He came close in Houston, but was traded, and by some was written off as over the hill. CP said, I control what I can. That's preparing to play every night. Doesn't matter how successful my season was or wasn't, I'm always going to strive and push myself. Kevin, back to you. Thank you, DA. Here are the starters for Milwaukee. Middleton and Giannis are the forward tandem. Holiday out there with Dante DiVincenzo. And it's Lopez in at the five. And for the Suns, Booker and Bridges are the wings. Andre Ayton out there with Jay Crowder. And it's Paul in at the one. Lots of speed and athleticism on the floor tonight, Brent. What do you think could determine the outcome? Well, if guys are going to play fast, Kevin, and guys are going to be up in the air, it's going to come down to very solid decision-making to see who it is that separates themselves in this one. Bridges against Middleton. The pass to DiVincenzo. Good D by Booker. And it's Paul with the ball for Phoenix. Crowder the pass to Bridges. Paul outside. Six on the shot clock from the high post. Antetokounmpo pulls it in. He dishes it to Middleton. Even Genzo against Ayton. Middleton looking it over. Pass to DiVincenzo. No good off the back of the rim. And now the Suns, a fast break. The 17-footer. Ayton. And Ayton stays with it. Yeah, if Ayton can get in that kind of position, he can be a bully on the inside. Giannis outside. Pass to Holiday. And a miss there on the triple. Well, even though he misses that one, the defense has got to talk about that. And that's a bad miscue. And you can't give up looks like that all game long. The Bucs have gone 0 of 3 from the field to start the game. Crowder with the steal. Now here's Paul. Booker up top. Defended by DiVincenzo. DiVincenzo against Booker. Passes it to Bridges. Ayton trying to break free. The second effort, and that's two points on the lane. Uh, again, with that kind of size, DeAndre Ayton is going to draw some fouls and does not shy away from contact. And Milwaukee calls their first time out of the game. Well, DeAndre Ayton is a walking double-double. This guy has a huge physical advantage on the nights that he's playing other bigs whether that's by his size or his ability to run the floor. And if he comes out with an aggressive mentality, he could really punish some teams throughout the course of a regular season. Now here is Holiday. Adetokounmpo up top, defended by Crowder. And again, the turnover by the Bucks. Still without a basket in the game. The Suns have gone just two of seven so far. A little bit of a slow start for them. And some think that Ayton has a chance to be in a class with some of the great big men we've seen, be it Ewing or Robinson, Hakeem. I mean, those are very lofty standards. Brent, how does he get there? 
It's a great question. I, I think when you talk about it, Kevin, you got to look at the defensive end. And those names that you just mentioned on a nightly basis were a force behind anybody on the perimeter. When they came into that house, it was defended. If Aiton gets there, he's got a big opportunity. And the double up on a Dekumbo. Shot clock at five. Lopez, no luck. That's 0 for 4 now. Time to slow it down and maybe get the best possible shot the next time down. Bucks trail by six. Out of Kumbo finds Holiday. Nice ball movement by Milwaukee. Middleton against Paul. Shots good by Middleton. Middleton looking pretty comfortable right now playing in the pick and roll, whether he's passing the ball or shooting it. Right now making good decisions. And Crowder slams it in. Not the kind of aggressive defense they need to cut into the lead. Yeah, you have to protect the rim, Greg, a little better. Good job to recognize the opportunity. That's just very solid offense. Now here's Middleton outside Holiday. Down low. And to Dekumbo. Good work defensively by Crowder. That's the only kind of defense that's going to cut the mustard here tonight. you got to stay on top of a guy like that who can play at such a high level offensively. Now DiVincenzo after Devin Booker missing on that last three-pointer. And Holiday kicks to Middleton. It's good. The assist that time from Holiday. Middleton's got five now. Well, Middleton hovers around that 40% mark from downtown in his career. It's a good-looking shot there. Back to Bridges. Good. Nice job down low. And, and his presence as a scorer, it, it just has a calming effect for the rest of the team. He's a fallback option whenever they need one. Now here is Holiday. Nothing yet on the scoreboard for him. And the rejection by Aiton. Oh, man, 7-1. Not a good idea to challenge Aiton there. Yeah, the chemistry has been terrific. Really impressed with their offensive execution. And here's Middleton bringing it up now for the Milwaukee Bucks. Seven-point differential. Bridges with the steal. It's up a three. That's good from Paul on the assist from Bridges. He's got seven. Oh, great ball movement there. Holiday, the pass to DiVincenzo. Middleton for three. Hits it from three-point range. How about Middleton saying, you take that. I got some payback for you right here. Suns leading by seven. Here's the pass to Paul. To the middle. It's so about It's a Kumbo. Two on one as they jump out on the break. And the wide open shot from DiVincenzo. And the three off target. And that one gives them a plus five rebound advantage, Kevin. It's good on the putback. And, and loving the hustle here early. I mean, they struck first on the offensive glass. Holiday looking over the floor. Giannis outside. Banked in off the glass. He's a hard guy to guard everywhere on the floor, but more than anywhere else, Giannis can get you in the paint. That's where he lives. Now here's Booker. He's been patient so far. Nothing on the scoreboard yet. A three-pointer, no good. Bucks trail by seven. Middleton the pass to DiVincenzo. Holiday dishes to Antetokounmpo. Pass to DiVincenzo. Good. And it's Giannis picking up the assist. A great floor when this says that Kubo has a sense for when the D has overcommitted or shifted his way. And then he finds where his teammate is open on the floor. Good work there as it goes. Well, we've seen that movie a few times, haven't we? An easy bucket in the paint. Pass to DiVincenzo. Back to Holiday. Passes it to Middleton. Count it. This is not a player who likes to be trailing in any game. That lights a fire. Oh, Aiton in position. A 
up high to stuff the alley -oop. As long as passes are in that area, Aiton's going to get up and go down. Middleton outside. And there's the pass to Giannis. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. Mikhail Bridges picks one up. First trip to the free throw line for him in this one. And, and over the course of last year, he was up over 90%. And with a stroke like that, you see why. And the first one at the line is good. Greg, you showed toughness and grit when you played. You've got to succeed in this league with those things at the forefront, right? Being tough, being gritty. And there are several players uh, whose style you admire that play like. I mean, no doubt about it. it, it you have the superstars, the, the Kawhis, the LeBrons, who continue to do it. They, they can intimidate you physically. Uh, but they also provide tremendous skill set. Uh, but two other guys, Russell Westbrook, Jimmy Butler, they're also guys that exemplify that toughness. Uh, you know, two guys, when you look at those two, a lot of people didn't project them to be what they've become. And it's impressive to watch them take the floor night in and night out. They've been sensational on the backboard to start this game. Vincenzo against Booker. Pass to Paul. Over Holiday. A shot by Paul. No good. Well, that's the only way to take him out of his comfort zone from that range. Get right up in the jersey. Force him off the spot. Suns leading by six. Bridges kicks to Paul. Now the dish to Booker. Good, and Paul gets the assist. And they're beginning to just flat out fall apart defensively right now, especially on the interior. Holiday, the pass to Middleton. And here's Holiday, defended by Paul. It's in, and he's a very efficient five for six on the game. Great quarter for him at the offensive end, trying to will his team back in the game. Stolen by Holiday, and stolen by Booker inside Crowder. Aiton trying to break free. And the shot's good from Crowder. Man, have they been effective at getting the ball inside. And so Giannis will bring it up for Milwaukee. Trailing here by eight. Cross contact on the shot. And now a three-point play chance as he'll head to the line. And the muscle of a Tentacumbo is impressive. He's just destroying the defense right now. He's getting his first free throw attempt of the game here. And, and you know, you'll take what he can give you from the free throw line. Looking at his numbers, just really not one of his strengths. Shooting in the low 60s last season. Free throw no good for Giannis. Now we can talk about it over and over again. Atentacumpo combines size and versatility in ways we just haven't seen up until the Greek makes a rival. Oh, taking it to the rack with power. Hammering down the two-hand slam. The Suns shooting their first free throw of the game. Find the lanes. Find the lanes. One shot. DeAndre Ayton, born in the Bahamas and came to the United States in high school to become one of the top prospects going into college and then becoming the first overall pick in 2018. Shots good by Middleton. Somebody came to play tonight. Six out of his first seven. Has to book. Shot on the wing. Offensive rebound. Now he's not very hard to defend right now. This is when the defense might step back and let him try to find his range. On to Takumbo with the bucket. It's pretty good focus. Giannis gets in there, 
tough to rattle him a little bit. I don't know if he even saw that guy. Superb concentration. To the inside. And there's Aiton, and that's good on the assist by Paul. Aiton's got 15. Pretty easy right now. Clear out, give him some space, let him get to work. DiVincenzo kicks to Holiday. Kicks it down to Middleton. And another three for Milwaukee. Only one miss in his first eight attempts. Coming out of the gate strong. Pass to Booker. Time for some consideration in the passing category, maybe, Kevin. The shot is just not on. Get somebody else going. The box working the ball around. DiVincenzo can't hit it. This feels like it's snowballed a little bit on them. The more he tries to shoot his way out of this slump, the worse it seems to get. They need him to get it together. Basket counts. Yeah, off to a strong start here early. Six points off second chance buckets. Loads it up for Giannis. And onto Takumbo slams it in. Well, that's a nice toss up there, so you got to like the timing. But of course, that's Giannis. He's going to grab anything. Booker looking around. All up top, guarded by Holiday. Yep, that one goes. 11 points in the game. Boy, has he put his foot on the pedal here this quarter. He's doing a terrific job in terms of leading their offense. Look how hard Middleton takes this one right into the paint, getting way too physical for the D to deal with. And this is his second trip to the line tonight. First free throw is good. Middleton improving his game, improving his confidence, coming back after injury, and working to become better. And Phoenix making a change here. Johnson's checked in. Middleton hits them both. Well, a great player on a great roll at the charity stripe. The D has got to be careful about being too aggressive on him and sending him back for freebies. Booker outside. Jacks up a three. That shot off. DeAndre, he has been the guy making things happen for Phoenix. He made his mark in a big way on the boards in that quarter. And we'll be right back after this. And regarding the mental aspect of the game, Giannis Antetokounmpo had this to say earlier. Definitely the game has slowed down a lot for me. I'm able to know where my team is going to be. I'm able to get to my spots and know I know my spots and uh well Greg that might be why they put up so many points they all know the roles have got the right recipe for everything they want to do on offense yeah his awareness plus unselfishness puts defenders in a no-win situation and if you're just joining us we've played through one quarter in this one and from what we've seen guys from Phoenix what do you guys see well, one way to generate more offense, pound the offensive glass. That was the difference in the first. Keep plays alive with your activity. That's what it's about. Walker and Johnson fill out the wings. Jay Crowder out there with Aiton. And it's Paul in at the point guard. So that's the Suns' five as we get into the second quarter. Crowder finds Paul. Pulls it up. And it's Phoenix scoring again. Whenever Paul lets it go from that area, can you think that it's going to go in? Love his stroke. Pure. Middleton outside. He's looking for Giannis. Oh! Oh, oh I would love to see Giannis in the dunk contest. Wouldn't that be sweet? Suns leading by four. Paul passes to Booker. Inside. Aiton. And here's Johnson outside. Rebound, Milwaukee. And here is Adetokounmpo. 
He's got 12. Paul dishes to Booker. Fires from deep. That shot, no good. So Milwaukee will take it the other way. And the slam dunk by Antetokounmpo. Open up the floodgates and let Giannis run through. What a joy to watch him in transition. Paul against Holiday. A three ball. Up again. Controls the rebound and puts it back up and in. And the Suns lead by four. Sweet to be a difference maker in the game, and he's been a great option for them on these possessions. Crowder with the steal. And now here's Johnson, a fast break chance. Out to the right wing. Middleton against Paul. Near the three-point line, it's Booker. The rebound by the Bucks. Giannis has got rebound number five here tonight. Even Genzo against Booker. And to Dekumbo. In it goes for the eighth time in ten tries. They should continue to get the ball inside. The defense struggling to contain them. Johnson outside. Back to Paul. To the paint. Here's Booker. Here's Ayton. Got a hand on it. And they get it back. They get it again. Kicks it out to Johnson. Portis trying to free himself. And it's Johnson. That time on the assist by Ayton. Johnson's got his first three points of the game. Here's Middleton. 21 points in the game. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. When you look at the balance of power between players and teams, Greg, does it feel like the players now have more say, more control than they used to? No doubt. Uh, we're seeing more players demand trades, sign shorter contracts with opt-outs. And the irony of that is, in my era, our best players were fearful for the length of their contracts hmm. or, or the life expectancy of their careers, believe it or not. And these guys today, they understand their value. Uh, they know what they bring to the table, and they are utilizing that to the max. And is that good, Greg, for the game? I think so. I, I, I do think most guys want to win, and they understand that their legacies are going to be defined about whether or not they do. And Phoenix making a change here. Charge is checked in. And so he hits both. Here is Paul. 13 points in the game. The pass to Booker. Here in the second quarter, just under three and a half minutes played. Aiton at the elbow. Johnson, the pass to Booker. Clock at four. Over onto Takumbo. They grab their own miss. Charge, that's good. Charge has got his first two points. And look at it. A significant portion of their offense coming on those second chance opportunities. Paul against Holiday. Over in the corner, Portis. No one near him. No good on the shot. A bit long that time. I know it's about defending the post and the three-point line these days, but still got to be active in the mid-range area, and the defense gets away with one there. Bucks trail by five. Giannis kicks to Holiday. He's looking for Middleton and finds him. That one goes. Count it. Nice body control there from Chris Middleton. Stays with that even after contact. He's made all six of his tries at the line so far. guys this is the way to stay in the game they're, they're doing a masterful job from the line perfect this quarter pass to Booker shoots over DiVincenzo no good from Booker and a struggle for him tonight but they can make this lead hold up they can just chalk this up as one of those nights they double him with Booker Portis and it's all evened up 
and they've repeatedly probed inside in the first half, guys, and, and it's paid off. Paul kicks to Booker. Pass to Aiton. Paul against Holland. Booker outside. Knocked loose and stolen by DiVincenzo. Side Holiday passes to Andacumbo to the middle. Nice shot by Portis. Portis has got the lead up to two now for the Bucks. They're consistently finding ways to get the ball inside and taking full advantage. Johnson, the pass to Paul. And that time, also a missed shot. Yeah, we're chipping some orange paint off the rim here, guys. He must be more patient on offense and trying to find ways to penetrate inside and get closer to the rim. Now here's Johnson following the shot by Drew Holland. And Paul with the basket on the assist by Johnson. Paul's got it all tied up now for the Suns. Milwaukee's gone four of eight tonight from three-point land, shooting 50% on the three ball here. Giannis is double. The pass to Middleton. Paul grabs the board. And so it's Paul bringing it up for Phoenix. They've led by as much as 10. Booker with it. Paul outside. Five to shoot. And Sharich kicks to Paul. The putback. Great positioning on the putback. And the Suns lead by two. It's been their Achilles heel defensively. They just have not been able to control that backboard. And the rejection by Eaton. And up the court come the Suns on the break. No good from Booker. For Milwaukee, they've gone 7 of 11 from the field in the second quarter. And stolen by Eaton. Trying to break that ice cold streak. That's a good job by Aiton making the read and staying aggressive on defense, helping to get that steal. And basketball in the blood for Devin Booker. I mean, his father, Melvin, started at the University of Missouri and played pro ball. Started in high school. Devin trained with his father, trying to follow his path. What's up? Mikael Bridges checked in for Johnson. The Bucs also changing it up. P.J. Tucker, he's checked in for Bobby Portis. And it's Bryn Forbes in for Dante DiVincenzo. Free throw, good Booker. Well, Devin Booker is among some of the youngest, most elite scorers that the league has ever seen. And the sky is the limit for this guy. And Middleton kicks it to Tucker. Over Booker. And it's wide right. Hits off the rim. And we know the story. Booker moving from Michigan to Mississippi to live with his father and develop his skills. And 4.30 a.m. alarms to train on the beach before the summer sun, getting to practice two hours early and staying late. Booker, not a freak athlete, so he had to work harder and drill the fundamentals. Bucks trail by seven. Pass to Forbes. Here's Holiday, defended by Paul. And to Takumbo. I mean, just look at the box score right now. He's not only filling it up with these points, but in every facet of the game. And first time out of the game called for Phoenix. Greg, as a point guard, you must have had so much fun being surrounded by so much terrific talent at UNLV. You know, Larry Johnson, Stacy Ogden, I mean, I could go on and on. And you're right, I was blessed to play alongside these guys. They were incredible talents, finishers. And, you know, you don't always appreciate it going through that moment. But the sure. fact that we're all still close and stay in contact, uh, man, what an awesome experience to be a part of that team. Chemistry must have been off the charts on that team. It was, and, and we had a lot of personalities, man. It was a different era back then. Uh, but I tell you, again, I wouldn't trade that experience for anything. Here's Aiton. One points in the game, and it goes out of bounds. Last touch by Ana Dacumbo. And now, let's revisit that exceptional mobile one block. E emphatic with the rejection. You've got to appreciate that kind of forceful defense. Suns leading by five. Down low. 
Here's Eaton, and that's good. A nice job in the glass as they pick up two on the second effort. And they have built their advantage on the scoreboard here by doing all the little things. Here's Holiday, rejected by Booker. Middleton against Bridges. Basket is good. He'll get a chance for one more at the line. Yeah, they're going to have a nice little run here. The Sun shooting their third free throw attempt of the game. And one of the highlights last year for this group was the fact that they were so efficient from the charity strike. That's a huge factor. Mind the lane. Mind the lane. One shot. And that one falls for Bridges. Any player like Mikel Bridges, who enjoys the amount of success that he did coming out of college, winning two national championships, shines a different light on how he can impact the greater good in the winning environment that you create. Now, here's Bridges, following the shot by Drew Holliday. And he just dangles from the bucket after <laughs> sending that one through. And you can see which team has the swagger right now. Now, here's Young. He's got 18. Drew's got such a great build. 205, 210 pounds, a bigger guard. Hard to knock him off of his shot. Here's Booker. It's a 10-point game. Paul surveying the floor. Over Holiday. Paul's shot is off. And so onto Dakumba will bring it up for the Bucks. Here's the lob, and the Kumbo takes the alley-oop pass and dunks it down. How about Drew Holiday? Unselfish, team-first player. Love that from the guard position. Booker outside. Rebound, Giannis under the Kumbo. Giannis has got his seventh rebound of the game with that last one. Kicks it to Holiday. With the teardrop, rebound by the Suns cannot get anything to go if there's gonna be a way to get out of this hole the time is the four o'clock p.m. You, you almost have to assume he's going to knock those down when he is that open Middleton can't get it to go uh, you love basketball couldn't miss in the first quarter now can't make it in the second quarter gotta be eating at him just a bit Paul for three but they'll get another chance yeah, maybe a little luck, maybe a little bit of heart. Both of those at play here. He's getting every offensive rebound. Well, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. They keep getting it in the paint and continue to score consistently. Now, here's Tucker. He's been quiet so far. Still no points in the game. And Forbes has it in the corner. And the Bucks miss again. Suns leading by 10. A pull-up. And there's Sharch on the assist for Bridges. Sharch has got eight points. And, and I like the fact that he really was unfazed by that scoreless first quarter. And now you can see him getting into a rhythm. Fires the three. Forbes can't get it to go. Well, Phoenix shooting with confidence. 50% from the field so far. Bridges, no one around him. Tries again. And the rejection by Giannis. The Suns have yet to miss from the free throw line. They're three for three. So for the Suns, Jay Crowder's checked in for Sharich, and it's Payne in for Paul. And Milwaukee also making a switch. Lopez is checked in. One shot. The free throw drops for Eaton. 109 left in the first half. They need a bucket in a big way here to regain some confidence. Outside Holiday. Pass to Forbes. Six to shoot. He kicks to Middleton. Got a piece of it. Bridges with the steal. Outside Crowder. 
to the inside. Booker, terrific assist, a nice finish. Solid play all around. And Booker getting more and more comfortable fighting through NBA defenses. He used his ability there to get through contact. Here's Middleton, and nothing is falling for him right now. Yeah, and they've shown effort and aggression in the paint, really, right from the tip. Their rebounding edge right now, massive. Well-rounded effort, and, and they show no signs of letting up. Coaching staff probably most proud of the effort of this team on both ends of the floor here tonight. Outside Holiday. Four seconds left. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. Mikael Bridges picks one up. You can see the determination from Holiday on that attack, expecting contact there, and got it. The Bucks have been good at the free throw line. This one, seven of eight. And team stats last season, 74% shooting. So some numbers that they can definitely improve upon. First one falls for him. So many things have changed around Drew Holiday. The one thing that's been a constant is that he's a hard worker, such a great all-around player who likes to be a leader, and he has been for this ball club. All three throws, good from Drew Holiday. It's the Phoenix Suns holding a big 18-point lead to close the quarter. And their ability to get points in the paint has made all the difference in this one. And a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge standing by courtside. David. Thanks, Kevin. Here with Coach Mike Budenholzer. Coach, probably not the defensive effort. Thank you, David. We'll be back after halftime for the start of the second half momentarily. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Welcome back to 2K. DeAndre Ayton was on fire in the first half. He ended up with 26 points, three assists, and a... Thanks for joining. And as we dive into the second half, we'll find out if the next two quarters are any different from the first two. So far, it has been a runaway. DeAndre Ayton has been sensational. Well, it didn't take him long to get that double-double. Already has it halfway through the game. Yeah, guys like him love to stuff the stat sheet. He's doing it here. And on the floor for Mike Budenholzer starting the second half. Giannis is the four with Lopez the five. Dante DiVincenzo, he's out there with Holiday. And it's Middleton in at the three, the small forward. And Bones, Devin Booker capable of big nights. One of just a few players with multiple games of at least 59 points. Well, he's always looking to put pressure on the defense, and he's got such a wide array of skills, not only shooting the basketball, but has shown off more of his patience and playmaking ability as he moves through his career. The first one falls. Both free throws good from Booker. Bucks trail by 20. They double him with Aiton. DiVincenzo passes to Lopez, and he comes up with the deuce. Lopez has got his first pass. Uh, Lopez down on the inside, getting that soft touch to go. Passes it to Crowder. And here's Booker from the arc. It's hauled in by Giannis. Giannis has got rebound number nine now. 
What an effort here tonight. And, and running with a full head of steam, but completely under control. Yeah, you think he's comfortable at that speed? He's done it so many times before. Just an absolute blur in transition, and that helps get the rhythm going. That's good from Booker on the assist by Paul. Paul's got nine assists in the game. Great passing. Now here's DiVincenzo. Inside, and to Tacumbo. And onto Tacumbo, slams it in. Giannis bringing it down, using that sensational length to get that finish. Booker outside. Vincenzo with the rebound. If you told me this was the kind of game he was going to have, I would not have expected them to be in front right now. Lopez, no what? And after burying three straight shot opportunities, finally a miss there. Still feeling the momentum, though. A nice shot by Booker. Well, that equals his three-point total from the first half. He had one before the break, and that's his first three of this half. Now here is Holiday, and the basket is good. Yeah, 80%. Is that a good number from the field? I, I think so. Four or five here shooting. Terrific start. Outside Crowder. Now the pass to Bridges. No good on the triple. Bucks trail by 17. Middleton with it. Bridges covering. Eyes yet again. And it's Phoenix with the rebound. Booker's got four rebounds in this game. Down low, here's Ayton, and he drops in the way up off the glass. Ayton's got 28. Think about the next few years. How much more complete will Ayton get? There's some indicators there. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. Mikel Bridges picks one up. This will make five trips now to the free throw line for him tonight. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. The first free throw is good. and hits them both. And so Booker will bring it up for the Suns. They led the game at one point by 20. The shot that time, not on target. So Milwaukee will take it the other way. Holiday with the three, buries the long-range jumper. Holiday's got five points now this quarter. Well, that's confident shooting there from Drew Holiday. Got his coaches and teammates saying, yes, take that one. Here's Booker. Rebounded by the Bucks. Out of the Kumbo finds Holiday. Nice ball movement by Milwaukee. Giannis outside. And the double up out of the Kumbo. The shot by Holiday, no good. Their game plan needs to change if they're going to get out of this hole because he is just not there offensively. Here's Booker. That's tipped. Now Giannis. He's got 22. It's deflected. Well, more than capable as a defender. Bridges with a great job using his length. Yep, it counts. Paul's got 17 now. Unwilling to let up, even for a moment. That's his killer instinct, just fanning the flame. Yeah, he's the guy that you want to go to right now, trying to put this one away. Crowder from outside. They get it back, and Aiton throws it down. Ah, the classic big man rim run as Aiton just gets out in the open floor. Middleton outside. Here's the lob at the Kumbo. Bridges with the steal. And the Suns, another fast break chance here. 
And the shot's good from Crowder. Great effort and gets in a little razzle-dazzle at the end of that one. Yeah, why not? Show a little creativity, get inside, move that ball around, just make sure you score. And the shot goes down. Antetokounmpo has got 24 points. Antetokounmpo, those long strides and then fearless in his attack. Out to the wing. Ayton dishes to Crowder. And it's still a rare sight to see rebound numbers like the ones he's had tonight. Well, this kind of effort will energize the team and get you going, just gobbling up every board. Now, here is Holiday after the miss from Jay Crowder. Holiday, the pass to Giannis. It's good, the assist that time from Holiday. 26 points for him. That play happens because of the solid pass from Holiday. Bridges against Middleton. Now, here's Bridges. Seven points in the game. Just five on the clock. The shot. Rebounded by the Bucks. To the paint. Here's Giannis. And Giannis throws it down. And didn't do anything fancy there, but didn't need to. Nope. He, his only concern right now is getting the points on the board. And I, I don't mean style points. Here's Paul. Nice pass. Led him to the rack perfectly for the layup. And for an undersized player, Chris Paul's a pretty good finisher around the rim. Certainly knows all the angles. Holiday, the pass to Giannis. And Giannis throws it down. He's not the reason that they're trailing in this one. He's been on his game. It's a few of the other guys that need to pick it up. And the Suns call time. As the teams head into this timeout, a chance for the coaches now to map out some plays for the next few minutes and a chance for the players to rehydrate with some Gatorade. That's important if they want to make sure they don't wear down later in the game. Absolutely. Over the course of a game, you have to stay hydrated. Johnson, he's checked in for Phoenix. Here's Paul. Uses the glass to finish the layup. Paul's got six in the quarter. Uh, Chris Paul knows exactly not just who's going to hit him, but how they're going to hit him. DiVincenzo kicks to Middleton. Giannis inside. Johnson's there. And good that time. He makes it look effortless out there. Until the defense actually presents a challenge for him, expect those kind of results. DiVincenzo against Booker. Can't hit from in close. He creates such a great opportunity right at the rim, and he just can't get it to go, even with the defense not really a factor. Now here's DiVincenzo. He's got five, and Holiday throws it down. That gives him a double-double in this one. 11 points and 12 assists. And don't forget about Drew Holiday. He's got some ups, more than capable of getting up there to the rim. All against Holiday. Fires from 14, and there's the call on DeAndre Ayton. That is his first foul of the game. Let's take another look at the staunch defense during that mobile one block. Determined to protect the lead with the all-out effort defensively. Superb anticipation on the block. Bucks trail by 12. Here's Middleton. Here's Yuck. And the basket is good, and he's got a chance here for one more at the line. Maybe he's thinking at this point, man, somebody's got to help me. I can't do this all by myself. One shot. good from out of the Kumbo. Suns leading by nine. And here is Bridges. He has seven and out of bounds as the Bucks gain possession. Cameron Payne's checked in for Chris Paul. 
Outside Holiday makes it off the glass. Holiday's got 13 points. That's a great drive from Drew Holiday using that blazing speed to his advantage. DiVincenzo against Booker. Pass to Bridges. Eaton at the elbow. Shot clock at six. And the Bucks with possession. They're on a 17 to four run. Holiday gets the bucket. You know, he was a non-factor in that first half, but now he's making up for lost time. It's Payne with the ball. He'll bring it up for the Phoenix Suns. They led the game at one point by 20. Timeout called the Suns. And doesn't like how things are going right now. The timeout before the timeout here, maybe just to cut off the momentum and have a chit-chat with the team to settle down. Genzo against Booker. And the dunk by Booker. And Devin Booker is big and at 6'6 gets up there for the jam. Here's Holiday. He's got 15. Pass to Giannis. And oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot two. That one on eight. He shot two free throws in the game, made one and missed one. Shooting two. And he can't get the first one. And the Bucks making a change here. Connaughton's checked in. Second free throw, good. Phoenix leading by six. Bain with it. No points in the game yet for him. Passes to Ayton. Dishes to Booker. On the arc, sinks the triple. And the Suns lead by nine. Well, he just nailed his second three of the half, guys. I'd be very aware of that if I were the defense right now. Outside Holiday and the pass to Middleton. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. And Middleton kept working and working, did not quit on the play. And that forced the defense into a foul. He's been spending quite a bit of time at the foul line. This is trip number six. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And he knocks down the first one. P.J. Tucker, he's checked in for Giannis Antetokounmpo. Middleton hits them both. Phoenix leading by seven. Now Booker. He's got 24. And the rebound goes to Lopez. Milwaukee's gone one of three from downtown since halftime. An era where we're seeing teams turn away from the slower seven-footers. Brooke Lopez still playing a pivotal role for the Bucks. 
there's been a lot of talk in recent years Greg as how the big man has been played off the floor in the playoffs. That's just not the case with Lopez because he's been able to step out and shoot threes along with being a really reliable rim protector. One shot. Free throw good from Drew Holiday. 151 left in the third quarter. Phoenix has gone two of five with the three-point shot since coming out of the break. Bain looking around. Poke loose. Down to five on the shot clock. And that's out of bounds. Phoenix will retain possession. Bryn Forbes, he's checked in for Milwaukee. Puts it up off the inbound, and it's Aiton missing. Bucks trail by four. Guys, we've seen some excellent offensive output. Yeah, great momentum for them offensively. Connaughton passes to Forbes. Middleton is doubled. Pass to Lopez. Good, and the assist goes to Middleton. Middleton's got three assists now in this one. And the athletic Middleton on that play snakes his pass right through the defense. That's a nice pick and roll. And he gets it to go as they call the foul. He's on his way to the line for one more. He's played a huge role in this game to this point, but it looks like he just wants more. He wants to make sure that this lead holds up. The Suns have been perfect so far from the free throw line. Six for six. Two left in the third quarter of the game. Here is Forbes. He's still scoreless so far in this one. To the inside, Tucker. And he floats in for the easy two. Credit the assist on that one. And, and you gotta love the big bucket in the paint in this sort of a grind it out game. Johnson outside. 40 seconds left to play in the third. Tips it up. He hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. Johnson's got five points so far. You know, his positioning near the hoop, always to his advantage. Just a terrific job to tip that one back in. Here is Forbes. To the middle. He's looking for Middleton and finds him. It's good. Middleton's got 32 points in the game. This is a good sign for the offense, handing the ball off to Middleton, who right now has got it going. Now here's Booker. 24 points for him. With two seconds left, can't connect. And as we conclude the third quarter, what a game. Neither team giving ground. Suns lead by two. And don't go away. We'll be back momentarily. With three quarters behind us, we start the fourth quarter in what is still anybody's ballgame. Milwaukee's gone past the three-point line for 13 of their shots, 6 of 13. Booker and Bridges are the wing. Andre Ayton out there with Johnson, and it's Payne at the point. That's who's out there for Phoenix. Here is Forbes. Four on the clock. Milwaukee needs to get off a shot here. For a three, Middleton. A 
offensive rebound, Bucks. A nice shot by Tucker. And a better box out saves them two points there. It didn't seem like anybody was really aware there to go and collect that rebound in the possession. Now here's Payne. Trying to get open is Johnson. Payne's shot is good. And the Suns lead by two. And for Milwaukee, they're shooting a smooth 58% from the field. Everything going according to plan for them on that end. Pass to Middleton. Over Bridges. Doesn't go for him. And Phoenix the other way now. And up the court come the Suns on the break. Here's Booker. And he makes good on the layup. Booker's got 14 points here in the second half. Well, Booker's bringing some energy to this one. Always a threat to leak out and score in the open floor. And there's the call on DeAndre Ayton. That's his third foul of the game. And the Suns making a change here. Crowder's checked in. Fourth quarter now. We're about a minute and a half in. To the inside. And the shot is good. The Phoenix lead has been cut down now to just two on the basket for Middleton. Keep your eyes on the prize. Middleton did just that and sunk the shot despite getting roughed up a bit. Now here's eight. Back to Booker. And that one goes out of bounds. Last touch by eight. No clue <laughs> where that pass was going. That is a brutal turnover. We're about two minutes into the fourth quarter in this one. Forbes, the pass to Middleton. Shoots over Bridges. Middleton can't get it to go. Suns have gone two or three from the field to get the fourth quarter start. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. Well, as a young, dynamic scorer, Devin Booker knows how to get his way against most defenders in the league. Two shots. And he makes the first. We're still waiting for that first miss from the line this half. Both free throws good from Booker. Bucks trail by four. Middleton outside. Bridges with the board. No doubt the fight's there. They are trying to battle back, but he's just really struggling this quarter. Fourth quarter of play, and we're about two and a half minutes through it right now. Ayton kicks to Payne. Just five to shoot. Here's another rebound. This kind of effort is amazing. And he will not be denied. Lots of times you don't mind fouling a big, but Ayton's a solid foul shooter. And the first one drops. Chris Paul, he's checked in for Phoenix. Ayton hits them both. Bucks trail by six. They've been looking out of sync offensively. Yeah, the, the, their offense has ground to a standstill. Great quickness on the pull-up from Middleton, cashing in on that opportunity. Booker outside. 
to the left wing. Hall for three. The rebound by Middleton. Middleton's got his fifth rebound right now in the game. One made three form for the game. Does he focus closer in? Let's see. Now here's Booker. Basket good. Some of the greatest shooters in the game always talk about being on balance. Booker does a great job there. Keeps his eyes on the prize. by seven. So look at the clock. A little under three and a half minutes gone here in the fourth. And the call is going to be yes, yes it is. An illegal screen. No doubt for me the offense looks better in the second half. They've been able to dial down those turnovers and that's been a huge help. And the Bucks making a change here. Even Genzo's checked in. Now here's Paul. Kicks to Bridges. Passes it to Booker. A three, and he's good on the three ball. Booker's got ten points in the quarter. They're giving him a little too much space out there. That's his third triple since halftime. Middleton outside. And it's Lopez at the elbow. Over Ayton. The offensive rebound. The Suns on offense. They're on a 14-4 run right now. Bridges passes to Crowder. Up and in on the layup. And now it's a 12-point Phoenix lead. Yeah, letting it rip. They're just having fun right now. Yeah, some of these nights you got to enjoy yourself. Not too much at the expense of the other team, but right now this team is balling. Oh, and just a soft touch on both ends of that pretty alley. -oop. I got to say, when he threw the pass, I didn't know where it was going. Hooker the pass to Bridges. Here's Crowder, and there's the foul. It will go on P.J. Tucker. That'll be his second foul of the game. Yeah, and still early in the period, and they're only one foul away from being over the limit. Milwaukee making a switch here. Holiday's checked in. Down low, here's Booker, and the dunk by Booker. That's a good find for Aiden, understanding the defensive scheme, and he just waited for his teammate to be open. Here's Holiday. The pass to DiVincenzo. They double him with Booker. Tucker with the ball, and stolen by Aiden. And now the Suns, a fast break, and here they go. And the basket is good. Got it to go through on the contact, so a free throw coming up. Great opportunity for a three-point play. On his Antetokounmpo's check in for P.J. Tucker. That one falls for Bridges. And here's Holiday. Here's the floater. Rejected by Booker. And can't hit the shot, but they're saying he got hacked, so he'll head to the free throw line. That one on eight. Lopez serves as an unbelievable case study for someone who changed his game over time. I mean, almost in a season. So specifically, how he added the three-point shot, it's made him such a valuable asset two. to this offense. That free throw good from Lopez. Shots good from the stripe. 
Well, a big fellow with the ability and confidence at the free throw line is something that every team wants. You don't have to make those late substitutions. Keep your big guys on the floor. Here's Paul. Played in with a nice touch off the glass. Paul's got 23 points. And of the last six baskets, five have come on the interior. This is just smash mouth physical basketball, guys. Now here is Holiday. Middleton outside. Lock at six. On the wing, DiVincenzo. Defended by Booker. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. It's going to be on Jay Crowder. How about Lopez inside showing some smooth, fluid moves? Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. First free throw is good. Lopez hits them both. And it's Paul with the ball for the Suns. They led the game at one point by 20. Crowder against out of the Kumbo. Crowder the pass to Ayton. Second chance shot. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. Big man, you don't want to send to the line. DeAndre Ayton's free throw capabilities keep him on the floor at all times. The first one falls. That one misses, so he goes one for two. Bucks trail by 14. Here's DiVincenzo. Rejected by Booker. Middleton against Bridges. Pass to Paul. Back to Bridges. Bucket is good. Not a lot of resistance on the inside, and they're taking full advantage. Now a timeout called by Milwaukee. He does not look happy. Their defensive rebounding has, has been putrid, and they're giving up a ton of second-chance points. Let's present our New Balance Player of the Game, DeAndre Ayton. Yeah, and his performance has been a jaw dropper. It must have been feeling great coming into the building tonight because once he hit the court, it was all working for him. He was in a zone. 
He's played up to his full potential tonight, and he's been playing to the crowd, too. He loves being the star attraction, even if it doesn't happen on a regular basis. Bucks trail by 16. Middleton with it. Onto the Kumbo trying to free himself up. Shots good by Middleton. Middleton's got 38 points. Now Paul has to Aiton. Here's Giannis. In the corner, Middleton with it. Here's Holiday. Smart for Holiday to get that shot off even after the hack from the defense. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. The first free throw is good. Free throws, good from Drew Holiday. Suns leading by 12. Passes it to Bridges. Back to Paul. Over Holiday. They get the rebound and rebounds again. And he's just eating glass right now. Greg, 30 rebounds in this one. Paul loads it up for Giannis, an emphatic LU jam. Signs of Atentacubo really figuring things out. His offense starting to look more and more natural. Aiton attacking, and Aiton throws it down. This can make it so much easier for your teammate when you throw that lead pass that gets to him right on the money, whether that's on the run or in the shooting pocket. Now here is Holiday. Now the pass to Giannis. And the double up on a Dekumbo. And wrestling for it there, but no one has possession. We'll have a jump ball. And so it's Milwaukee with it. Lopez kicks to Holiday. Pass to DiVincenzo. Just four to shoot. And the rejection by Eaton. And there's the shot clock violation. Couldn't get the shot off in time. And here's Eaton. He'll bring it up for the Suns. They led the game at one point by 20. All against Holiday. Paul can't get it to go. Bucks trail by 14. Pass to Holiday. Crowder against Giannis. Middleton outside. Five on the clock. Here's Lopez. Good, and the assist goes to Middleton. Lopez has got 11 points here in just the second half. Well, over time, the game has changed, and there's some new wrinkles to Lopez's game, and that introduction of space is helping out this offense. Now here's Booker, and Aiton gets double team. Bridges against Middleton. And it's sent back by Lopez. Oh, that's out of there. Not a high riser, but Lopez using his frame, a smart block, if you will. Holiday goes in. Now the feed to Lopez. And the rejection by Eaton. Booker inside, guarded by Holiday. Crowder from outside. And the rejection by Giannis. Yeah, just solid work on the back end of that play. Yep, you're right. Finish hard with two hands on that stuff. Now here's Booker. 
and he finishes nicely on the way. Booker's got 38 points. Well, finishes like that are pretty impressive from Devin Booker, who we know is a great outside shooter. Here's Giannis, and he banks in the layup. So far, he's a can't-miss player, a superb scorer who plays to his strength. And here's Booker. He's off on that one. Great tee that time from Giannis. The shot by Middleton, wide open. It's good, the assist that time from Holiday. Middleton's got 41. Guys, a good chance for them to slow it down. Yeah, they definitely should use some clock here. Bridges passes to Paul. Milwaukee with the rebound. Giannis has got his 20th rebound here tonight. Saw that coming. Middleton dishes to Holiday. It's deflected, and he gets it back. And three chances on that possession, but they just couldn't find a way to score. Bounce pass from Bridget. Even Genzo against Paul. Pass to Ayton. A jump hook. Rebound, Milwaukee. This is a do-or-die possession. They have got to get points. Now you can't make any mistakes right here if you want to keep hope alive. Their execution has to be precise. This may be their most important possession. No doubt about it. As long as they don't make any major mistakes, this one's in the back. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. Shooting for Phoenix. First one drops, and that puts them up by five. Second one is good, and both at the line. It's a six-point ball game. Some padding here on the free throw line, some good work. Now a timeout called by Milwaukee. They're behind by six. 29 seconds left in the fourth quarter of this one. seconds left here in the fourth quarter. Middleton the pass to Holiday. And block. That one goes careening off the glass. It's good. And now they trail by just four. Here's Booker. And now an intentional foul. They need the ball back as soon as possible. You have to foul, but I'm sure they would have liked to foul someone different. the first one and that puts them up by five so he goes two for two at the line and it's a six point ball game timeout called Sorry. the Bucks. they're trailing by six there's 21 seconds left to play in the final quarter guys your thoughts still a sliver of hope yeah act fast but without mistakes the Bucks with possession here Come on. and the outcome on the line Holiday comes through with a crucial bucket there Seventeen seconds left in the fourth. They foul intentionally. That's what they have to do at this point. Honestly, just doing what they have to in order to get the basketball back. The 
he drops the first one, and that puts them up by five. And he is unable to get the second one. The pass to DiVincenzo. From outside, off the mark. And an intentional foul right there. free throw is good and that increases their lead to six and he hits both free throws here so now it's a seven point game a three for deep Vincenzo, and no good that time so the Suns win it they didn't make it easy on themselves or their fans, but in the end, everyone's satisfied. Uh, I mean, there were some times that that momentum shifted, and, and, and especially early on, but let's give this group a lot of credit for that stick to it in terms of finishing out and executing that game plan. And that's going to do it tonight, folks, for our broadcast. For Greg Anthony, Brett Berry, and David Alden, this is Kevin Harlan. Thank you for watching the NBA, presented by 2K Sports. So long, everyone.